Welcome back. I'm Mario Anderson. On today's episode, we are taking a look at House Bill 528, which is now Kentucky law that encourages joint custody and equal parenting time in custody cases after a divorce or separation. Alexandra Beckman is a Kentucky mom of seven children, uh, and she joins me now in the studio with uh, a special guest as well, uh, Nessie. Uh, her daughter. Thanks for joining us here on In Focus Kentucky. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. And uh, let's talk uh, about your family and how did you first find out about the possibility of this uh, new state law about shared parenting? Well, I met um, Greg Wood a couple years back and he introduced me to Matt Hale. And so that was two years ago when we worked on the temporary law. Um, I've just been involved ever since then, stayed you know, we have monthly meetings and everything, so. And talk about the dynamics of, uh, of, of your family, um, but I'll also discuss that uh, after your first marriage ended, uh, you, you said it was a difficult time to juggle the transition. So for viewers that, uh, you know, are interested in your particular story, kind of walk us through that. When my first marriage ended, I had five children and I had been a stay-at-home mom. So I, I was really, not liking the idea of sharing custody 50-50. Um, after, after a few months of that though, I, I learned how to use that to my advantage. I was able to work two jobs on my no children days and then on the days I had the kids, I was able to still stay home with them. Um, once they all got in school, I was able to go to school. I went to cosmetology school and graduated and um, that's, you know, how that happened. Now, now you also talked to me about uh, a parental alienation award that people may not be familiar with, yeah. but uh, uh, how, first explain that, but then also how do you hope that this new law will prevent this? Okay, so parental alienation is where people get divorced or separated and one parent will try to turn the kids against the other parent. It's actually been going on for a long time. It's just, I never knew there was a word for it until, you know, after it happened to me. So I have not had contact with two of my older children for over six years. Um, and they, up until now, it's never been like a thing in family court. So with the new bill, we, um, we didn't put the words parental alienation in there but instead we put the motives of a parent, the influences a parent may have over the children. So that's kind of, you know, how the alienation works. And, and there's a Facebook page as well? Yes, I have a parental alienation in Kentucky Facebook page. Um, I have parents contacting me every day. It's, it's, it's sad. And what are some of those uh, uh, conversations that you're having or people are that they're reaching out and saying um, they're just asking me what they can do like in family court they're they're not helping anybody like if, if a kid goes to court and they've already been turned against a parent and they tell the judge or a custody evaluator or whatever that they don't want to see that parent what what can they do and you know like in my situation I have a clean record I haven't I don't beat my kids, <laughs> I'm not a sexual abuser, you know, I don't, I haven't done any of that. So why is it that my ex was allowed to keep two kids from me? So it's not fair to the kids, it's child abuse, I think. Um, and, and our final question for you, what's next? Uh, in the law is, is in effect now, but uh, do you plan to continue advocating and sharing uh, your story with them? Um, yes. We have a couple more bills we're trying to get on the table this year, so hopefully we'll get those passed. Well, uh, Alexandra, we appreciate you sharing your story with us and talking about uh, your family and also bringing uh, Nessie, your special guest and uh, daughter here to, uh, for InFocus Kentucky. Well, thanks for having us. Now that's it for today's program. Thanks so much for watching In Focus Kentucky. Don't forget, you can go online right now to spectruminfocus.com and see this or any past episodes of In Focus. And as always, you can keep up with updates about the show throughout the week on social media. Just follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And you can also search the hashtag InFocusKY. Until next time, have a great week.